Sheikh Muhammad al-Banna rahimullah, he lived in Egypt. He died in the year 94 years old, rahimullah. I used to always go through that gate, 94. Uh, we used to always go through that gate, 94. I always see him reading the Quran. He told me his history in Egypt with the Azharis, uh, those who study in Azhar, in, the, in, in Cairo. They study that Allah, that above the Arsh uh, are what? I will tell you. Because he himself, he himself, Shaykh Muhammad al-Bani, rahimullah, and I, I quoted Shaykh al-Bani, rahimullah, when Al-Bani rahimullah, was in Hajj time in a tent with one of the Azharis, the Azhari sheikhs. You can see them, you recognize what they look like. They wear a cap, red cap with white. This Azhari sheikh, uh, Sheikh Al-Bani rahimullah, is saying to him, what's above the first heaven? He said, the second heaven. He said, what's above the second heaven? He said, the third heaven. Now we're going up. What's above the seventh? He said, the Arsh. What's above the Arsh? He said, Kurubiyun. Yani angels flying. <coughs> he said, we, we, above the arch we thought, he said, we finished from creation. Khalas. <laughs> now you have to create that. But still mentioning Kurubiyun. So what's above that? There's nothing. To them is nothing. Then you worship nothing then. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimullah, he said, Wal-Mu'attila ya'buduna adaman. Wal-Mushabbiha ya'buduna sanaman. Those negators, they worship nothing. And the affirmers, uh, sorry, the ones who liken Allah to creation, they worship idols. Don't liken Allah to creation and affirm that Allah is above his arsh just as he affirmed for himself. So Shaykh Muhammad al-Banna, also his own experience of the Azharis in Cairo, he said there was a, a sheikh, his name was Ali Hilwa. Ali Hilwa. And every time when he speaks about this affair, he says, whoever says Allah is above the arsh, then he's a kafir, he's a disbeliever. Strong statement. And so, Shaykh Muhammad al-Banna, rahimullah, at that time, he was only 20 years old or so, he wanted to find out what is the true belief. So many men have so many beliefs. I want to know what the true belief is. He goes to the uh, uh, shop next to Azhar and in that shop is somebody called Munir the Mishqi. Munir the Mishqi has, I found some <coughs> books that he has written, MashaAllah to Barakallah, explanation of Usul Talatha and so on and so forth. MashaAllah to show you that, inshallah, Salafi. He, he says to him, please, I don't know what to believe. Tell me what to believe. Give me a book, give me something so that I know what the true Aqeedah of Al Sunnah is. So he gives him the first book as a gift. The first book he gets him to buy is Tawheed. Wa ithbat sifat al-Rabb. Tawheed and affirming the attributes of the Lord by Ibn Khuzayma from the early generations. And if I'm not mistaken, he died to 211 or so Hijriya. Early, from the 2nd, 3rd century. He started reading this book and in there is the hadith of Muawiyah, Ibn Hakam. A Sunami, which is in Sahih Muslim. And he says, the Rasul says, free her as she is a believer. After she affirmed Allah is above the Arsh, free her as she is a believer. And, he's, and he said to himself, and in the masjid, the Imam, the Azhari Sheikh, is saying, whoever says Allah is above the Arsh is a disbeliever. So what is it? Believer or disbeliever? Rasul says believer. And in the, in the masjid, the Imam there is saying disbeliever. What is going on? So he's decided to speak with his friends. That's because in the masjid, the, the, the Imam has a following. So in order to maybe argue back with him in a way which is beautiful, a beautiful preaching without fighting, uh, without violence, let us all gather together on that night of his dars. And each and every one of us sit on different areas so he thinks that we are, actually we are more than we are. We are only a few. But each one sit in different areas. And uh, hopefully, maybe the masjid will follow this correct aqidah rather than follow the aqidah of this Imam Ali Hilwa from, Az, uh, from Azhar or from Azhar teachings. So they gathered that evening. And again, the Imam Ali Hilwa, yani the Imam 
in his, in his masjid, he said the same thing. Whoever says Allah is above the arsh, then he's a disbeliever. So, Sheikh Muhammad al banna rahmullah, brave, mashallah, tabarakallah, he puts his hand up and he says, and he's explaining to me the whole qissa, story. He says, Ya Sidi Ya Sheikh. You see, you have to be polite, huh? Ya Sidi Ya Sheikh. You said disbeliever. The Rasul Sallallahu said believer. Uh, for in the hadith of Jariah, hadith of the servant girl, free her as she is a believer. You said disbeliever. He said, as if I poured but, uh, uh, a bucket of cold water over his head. <laughs> so the, you know, the masjid now is starting to, you know, the people start talking. Then he said, as a response, oh, this Jariah, it's the servant girl, she doesn't know. She doesn't know, she's ignorant. She doesn't know. So, <coughs> Sheikh Muhammad al banna rahimahullah, in response to him, he said, in response to this Ali Hilwa, he said to him, O oh, Sidi Ya Sheikh, did Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam leave the ignorant one upon the ignorance, or did he come to teach them? Because he said to her, free her as she is a believer. He said, free her as she is a believer. Did he leave her upon her ignorance, or did he affirm that she is correct, and that she is a believer? He said, as if I... I poured another bucket of cold water over his head. Yeah? And then, after that, the people started rising up. Oh, Wahhabi, Wahhabi, like this. Oh, Wahhabi. Oh, he's from the Jama'ah of Hamid Faqih. From the scholars of Ahl Sunnah at that time. That Shaykh Muhammad al banna Rahman didn't know who he was. But he's searching the truth. He wants to know the truth. So, they're chasing him out of the masjid. And Shaykh Muhammad al banna Rahman even showed me. He said, I put, in my, uh, I put my hand in my pocket... As if I've got a pistol. Because <laughs> they're about to kill me or beat me up. So I put my hand in my pocket as if I've got a pistol. And I said, stand back. And slowly he's going back so he can get away. Alhamdulillah, he got away. <laughs> and then afterwards, he said, who is... We started thinking, who is Sheikh Hamid Faqih? Who is Sheikh Hamid? And then when they found who Sheikh Hamid Faqih uh, uh, is, and he, uh, known to be one of the great scholars alive today, upholding the aqeed of Ahlul Sunnah and Jama'ah, they met up with him and they learned from him with Sheikh Abdul Razak al Afifi and Sheikh Muhammad al Khalil Harras also. The explainer of Aqid al Wasti also joined them. Naam, and Alhamdulillah, Da'wat al Salafiyya was spread with ilm and amal, with knowledge and action. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who follow the Quran and Sunnah and you understand the companions.